Hey, it's Steve. I'm going to show you uh, how to adjust the ringing on the sets in your organization. This is a, manage, a managerial type of function, so this is not something for users to do because you could really mess things up. We'll start with the older software, which was the DR5 and below. That was found in your 616s, your uh, 8x24s. And the login for that is feature star star 266344, password 266344. There's uh, four headings in here. There's A, configuration, B, admin, C, um, set copy, I believe. Uh, we want uh, A, configuration. So over here is our navigational keys. We've got backwards, forwards, show, and escape or up a level. Uh, I'm going to uh, show configuration. I want to do next uh, to get to line access. I want to show line access. I'm going to pick a set to show to one. And your line assignment, you want to show. And this shows you what lines are assigned. Okay, one, two, and three. Um, and then if I go back up and I hit next until I hit ringing, and show ringing, then I've got line one is set to ring, and I can change that to no ring. Okay, then I can hit next, shows line two is set to ring, I can change that to no ring. Now I can also go back and change it back to ringing. So this is just a toggle to ring or no ring on the lines that are assigned to that set. Okay. All right, so that's the old software. Now I'm going to release, which just means to exit out, and it's saved. Everything you do is saved automatically. You don't have to do a save command. When you make a change, it's saved right away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect from my 616 and move over to my BCM and show you the new uh, software. Okay, we're back. So now I am have the same phone, but now I'm connected to a BCM50. This will show you how to make the line ringing changes uh, on the newer software. Now, something I want to point out here. On the older software that was in the 616s and the 8x24s, the line assignments were pretty straightforward. It was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. When you get into the 0x32s, the, um, the BCMs, the line numbering becomes a little more ambiguous. So before you begin to do any ringing programming changes, you should button query the phone to find out uh, what exactly the lines are actually uh, labeled on the phone. So here's what, here's an example of what I mean. You see how this phone says 1, 2, and 3? Okay. But if I do a feature star 0, which is the button inquiry, and I press this, it's actually line 61. Line 2 is actually line 62. Line 3 is actually line 63. So it's important that you get straight before you enter into programming what the line but what the lines actually are that are assigned to that set okay so just because the button says one or two or three doesn't mean that they're going to be one two or three inside the uh, the the software all right so make sure you know what line you want to affect all right now let's enter the programming feature star star two six six three four four bcms are a little different i have to enter in a user id the default is seven three eight six six two password is still two six six three four four now I'm presented with terminals and sets so in the old software it would say a configuration B general admin C set copy um, in the new software the first heading you're presented with is terminals and sets that's actually the one we need so I'm going to show terminal and sets I'm going to show my set two two one I'm going to show and it's got line access listed here now they combine both the line access and the ringing in the same heading in the new software. In the old one, there was a heading to assign line access, but didn't affect ringing. Then there was a couple of modules down. There was a, a module just for assigning the ringing or no ringing. Uh, so I'm going to show line access. Uh, I'm going to show line assignment. Show line. Now, it's neat. You can hit the scan button, and it'll show you the first one that's assigned. Line 61 is set to appear and ring. I can change that to four different things. I can change it to appear only, which is the same as no ring. So the word the line will still show on the set, but it won't ring. 
I can also have it just be unassigned, so that's how I can take it away from the set. Now here's something interesting. I could actually have it ring only. Now you might think, well, how could you have a line not be assigned to the set, but ring only? Well, what happens is it actually is assigned to the set, but it doesn't appear as a line of parents. What happens is when the line rings, it actually rings in down here on the intercom keys, and that's how uh, it's answered. So I'm going to set this to appear only, and then I'll hit next, and line 62, which is actually the second line, um, I'm going to change that to appear only, and then line 63 here only. So what I've done now is with set 221 is I've assigned the three lines or I've changed the three lines that are assigned to it to be appear only. That means that when they're ringing in the phone itself won't ring but they'll actually just flash next to the keys and if someone wanted to answer from this set they would have to actually push the key down first um, to be connected whereas with ringing phones you just simply lift the handset. Okay and then when you're done you just hit release. So that's how to do changes to the ringing of sets on both the old software and the new software. Thanks for watching.